Hello guys, it's Alex, and today we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of your GoPro Hero. This could be any of the cameras, so without further ado, let's get started. Looking at the camera, you want to go and select and make sure Protune is turned on. Protune is a very important setting, and this is how we're going to get the maximum bitrate and image quality out of your GoPro. If your camera doesn't have this, don't worry, but this will be your best option. Then you want to select the native white balance. This way it doesn't apply anything and select flat in the color profile picture. Limit your ISO to 1600, although if you really have to you can select 6400, medium sharpness, and depending on your EV settings change those as well. So let's get started. After you've shot your GoPro footage, you're going to import it and bring it into the GoPro Hero Studio. This is where we're going to convert the footage into Cineform, which is a much more editor friendly um, video quality format. So you're going to look for your MP4 file, just select any of them will do, whatever your footage is. And then we're going to go here, as you can see it's kind of a picture of my car. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to click the convert button down here. It's going to give us some frame rate, make sure it's the right quality settings, everything. You really have to check everything. Just make sure everything is set to high quality and the frame rate is looks right and what you're editing with. You can also choose to remove fisheye if you like. That's a preference though. I like the look the GoPro gives me. So what you're going to do is you're going to press OK. And you're going to press add to the conversion list. And you're going to want to press the convert button. So go ahead and click that. And it will start converting the footage. This shouldn't take too long depending on how many clips and the resolution. 4K is obviously going to take longer. And the better your computer, the faster it's going to go. So after it finishes converting, it'll say done. And we're going to go over to this edit tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the footage. As you're going to see, it has changed colors. But this is bad for editing. So we're going to go down here and click the none preset. Now we're going to open up Final Cut Pro X. This is my editor of choice. All this will be applicable in Premiere. After firing up your editor of choice, mine is Final Cut Pro. All this will work in Adobe CC. Make sure your footage is good and imported into Final Cut Pro. This takes a simple step and you should know how to do this. So without, the next thing we'll do is we're going to go find our footage. This is the footage I'll be using. It's a picture outside of my apartment and has a good, um, dynamic range and sh will show what this uh, LUT is capable of. And today we'll be using LUTs. Um, there are two free utilities. I'll have links in the description. One is for Adobe CC, the other is for Final Cut. This works in both programs. The one I'll be using is Apply LUT. It's by Denver Riddle and it looks really good. So go check that out. It's like 30 bucks, but it's not too bad. I'm also going to include the link to the preset for the GoPro footage we'll be using. So to get started, we'll apply the LUT. And we'll go there and we'll go to the drop down menu and pick GoPro to ProTune to 709. This is a great LUT and overall looks good. There's one problem with it though, however, is that it is slightly orange to my opinion. So I always add a little bit blue but back in the blue channel. And you can do this by going to the color board on Final Cut Pro or the 3 way color corrector in Adobe CC. As you can see, this makes it look a lot better and a lot less orange. And then you see the before and after with both of these on, and it just looks a lot much, a lot better. We can also do a little bit of adjusting if we think it's too blue. It looks slightly blue to me. And overall, you can play around with the colors and figure out what looks the best, although we're going for a neutral, very nice look. For the next part of the tutorial, we're going to be adding sharpness. Sharpness on the GoPro, like I said, we changed it to medium, and this will allow us to add it back in and adjust it because not all GoPro clips are similar. Some need more sharpness than others, and some you won't want to push the sharpness just because of the nature of the clip and the more rate it can bring on and artifacts. I usually go with the default of 1.5. This sharpens the image up enough and makes it look good. Thanks guys for watching. I'm going to leave you with two final examples so you guys can watch these, enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, share it with the other friends that might have GoPros. Thanks guys. Bye.